So you got shot like a lot of times. Like 21. Exactly. Oh yeah. I see you. I see them all. Oh, I can feel the progress like every time. I hear that's a that's a bullet in there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. So I didn't hear this story, but I saw your file. So I was like, that's crazy. I'm gonna ask him about that. I came out here from Louisiana going to surprise my daughter for her birthday. And the Uber started veering behind the truck. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? She looked out the window and was like, how did you find me? I don't know what's going on. I just got off the airplane. I don't know. I remember is there's three bullets hit her head and then it hit my face, hit my head, hit my elbow, my hand, just in my back and my teeth was gone. Like what? just like the sides, yeah. Like my jaw was broken. So two broke arms, broke hand. So you got shot like a lot of times. Yeah, twenty. Twenty-one, exactly. Yeah. You were lucky to be alive. Yeah, like one directly, like Right here. Correctly like, on your spine? Yeah. Oh yeah. I see yeah, the, so I see the hole. Yeah. yeah. You were lucky to go into your spine. Yeah. Like probably like hit it and went off or something. Like I don't know, but yeah, that's where all the fragments come. Right now, like what brought you in and all that stuff. So I know like, it's like my neck pain is like right behind my head. Okay. Like that hurt bad. That's like a nine at all times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my mid back. That just killed me all day. My arms, of course, because I have rides in them. That kills me all day. I ride bikes and build bikes, so my lower back, sometimes I can't really sit straight. My uh, backrest will like put pressure onto my back, so it's never really comfortable. I'm never really comfortable. And I might sleep for like an hour or two. That's it? Yeah. And then I'm just up trying to figure something out. Then throughout the day, I would like doze off for about another hour or two, so I don't really get much rest. Hmm. Has that been like that since? That yeah, since, since that happened. Yeah, because before I, I never had, I never had no problems. I never had no problems. Do you have trouble falling asleep to you, or is it s staying asleep? Oh no, I can't fall asleep. I have to like run myself to the dirt, like just be busy all day driving, trying to do any, anything I could do, and I have to literally run myself to the dirt to where when I get to the house, if I sit down, I crash out. Yeah, that's usually some sort of nervous system pressure if you really can't ramp down at all. So sometimes it's an adrenal gland problem, but if, if that's all like, yeah, I, I'm actually thinking you actually have sympathetic nervous system overload. Yeah. Um, okay, well, just sitting right here, do you feel the low back pain? Yeah. You do? Mainly, it's only a little bit in the lower back, but my mid back, like that, yeah. Or, yeah. Okay, so show me where you feel. So show me where you feel it, and then show me where you feel it in your arms too. So my arms is, is all of this. You definitely know this. So I will be driving, and my hands will get numb. When you get headaches, do you wake up with headaches? Yeah, like I have them all throughout the day. For the past few months, I was like, I wonder if I have diabetes or what's going on because I I, I had a lot of surgery. So, I'm like, but then when she showed me the chart, like, no, that's exactly what I'm going through. Murder. That's exactly what I'm going through. So like, I'm gonna eat something. About 10 minutes later, you're like, yeah, I got rest back on. So a lot of times I just try to like start throughout the day and then wait till I get home. And then show me where in the mid back that you're feeling it too. Is it more at the top or? No, it's like more. At like, the bottom? Yeah, right there. Okay. And that you wake up with some pain, right? Okay. No, this is all day. Low back pain, is it more on one side than the other side? On the right side. All right, man. Let's see what we find. So I'm going to be measuring you with this every single okay. time, okay? You saw that the first day. We're getting a big reading right there. Yeah. Are you squirming? Because that's where the pain is? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you typically feel pain more right here, right? Yeah. Than, than here? Yeah. Okay. Painful there? Yeah. So I'm getting a reading right here. This is your L2, actually. Do you get up at night to uh, go to the bathroom quite frequently? Yeah, probably like three, four times. Three times, okay. So track that as uh, we go through the care too. Okay. okay. So a lot of times when we fix this, it helps with that problem. Here too, right? Uh-huh. Right. 
Does that hurt at all, your mm -mm. neck? No? Okay, good. So how about if you jut your chin out and then you look up? Okay. Does that hurt at all? Yeah, I can't. It won't even let me go up anymore. Really? Okay. No. Where does it bug, bug, bug you? It just, it just seems like I can't move it, like I don't have no control now. Really? Yeah. Okay. So both your hands get pretty weak, right? Yeah. I mean, more, I know this, this one more, yeah. but both of them? Yeah. Uh, this one does too? Yeah. Same exact place down the forearm? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, Angela, you tell me if that hurts. Yeah. That's right where it hurts? Yeah. Yeah. Let me I'm gonna do a couple nerve tests. I just want to see the tightness of your nerves, okay? Specifically your median nerve, which is the one that goes here. Okay. Is that okay? It's starting to get tight now. Tight? Where is it tight? Right here. Okay. 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 You're already feeling it? Okay. Yeah. Just relax your shoulder here. Yeah, this one just right there. So there's a lot less than the other side. Yeah. Let me just make sure. So just relax your arm. Do you feel it now? No. More it's now. The same spot, yeah. Okay. So basically, um, I'm going to be adjusting your C2. So oftentimes when we adjust the C2, I want to see if that actually um, helps with your uh, whole hand. Because what happens is we, we, you get what we call cord pressure. Hmm. And then what that basically means is impacting the spinal cord itself, right? So then you kind of feel, you know, you're kind of losing control over there. Um, so I want to see if that actually helps with the okay. nerve, nerve pressure. Um, I'm also going to work on the pelvis drop. I'm going to actually raise that up. Right. Okay. And then also, uh, your L2, right? So this is where you see it kind of like kink over like that. Yeah, so yeah. it goes straight and it kinks over. Yeah. So I, I want to make sure it doesn't kink over and that pressure gets, gets relieved by actually adjusting it that way. Okay. Okay. And Down. Okay. Let's have you sit back here. Right. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust your C2. What I'm going to do is we're going to just do this. Lift that up, and what I'm gonna do is actually just push that forward, okay? Mm -hmm. But I need to know, is that uncomfortable at all for you? No. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, just relax here, and a little bit more, and you'll feel a little pop, okay? Oh. Nice. Not too bad, right? No. <laughs> nice. Out. And then look up again. Okay. Well, you're able to do more. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you're able to actually sh shift back. Feel like you can control it more? Yeah. Good. Like, I don't feel as restricted as it was at first. Yeah, I mean, you weren't able even to lift yeah. your chin up at all. I'm going to have you just come back here. Yeah. How's that? Mm hmm. That's all right. Okay, you're going pretty far back. How's that feel? It is starting to get tight a okay. little bit. Okay, that's a lot more than before. So I'm gonna have you actually stand up for me one more time. How about that? It's okay. No. Okay. Well, let's try to. How's that feel, Angela? So starting there. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. And just over here. Interesting. Okay. So it's moving further up. So that's good. So that it tells me it's not fully. Mm -hmm. Just this, right? Because just adjusting that part is actually helping with with the nerve flow and the okay. nerve. Uh, what we call. Um, like a nerve floss, mm -hmm. right? so actually the nerve tension is actually uh, less, right? So it's moving further up. Okay. So, good. Okay. So, 
Okay, so this is the joint we're gonna adjust, okay? okay. So remember how it's dropped and likes to twist it out? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna actually do the opposite, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll you a little bit to me, I'm not gonna let you fall off, okay? All right. So, I'm just gonna come a little bit closer here. I'm put my hip right here, so you don't go anywhere. Just relax here, and then I'm gonna give that a push like that, okay? All right. So just relax here. Good, a little bit more. Good. Actually, a more, more, more. There you go. Five, four, three, and two. And that's tender, right, mm -hmm. Angela? Okay. So let's let's get this one. So this one is. I have to adjust very uh, precisely. So I actually have to adjust that with my thumb. Okay. So. I have my thumb right here, and you're just gonna relax your belly down. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and then just relax here, and good. So try to just sit up for me. How's that feel over here? I don't feel a lot of pressure, as much pressure as it was right here. Like before, if I stood up straight or did this, it seemed like just everything was like. Uh, Seizing up. Yeah. Got it. Good. So I do want to tra track a few other things like the next time you come in. Okay. You're going to let me know how all this kind of feels. Your sleep, especially. I want to know how you sleep. Okay. I want to see how you're, you know, everything that you basically told me in terms of your hand going weak, all that. Okay. Um, when you come in next time, because I know a lot of it kind of persists through the night and all that. Okay. You should be able to feel less headaches, all that stuff, but you let me know next time. So tell me a little bit, just, just a follow up. I felt like that would be a good appropriate. So I sleep five, I slept five hours more than usually, because it's usually like 2.30 or like 4.30. Never past 4.30. Like 4.30, it seemed like my body used to be like, all right, now it's time to get up. And I'm like antsy, but then it's like, ain't nobody else in the world up, up right now for me to go outside and talk to. So I gotta wait till like 7.30 or eight. Yeah, yeah. But now I slept to seven. Like this morning I slept all the way to seven and I never woke up. I went to sleep probably like nine o'clock last night and slept oh, wow. all the way to 7 a.m. So that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. For me, <laughs> definitely. Because usually I'll be up looking at car parts or trying to figure out something or doing paperwork to like 12. And then it's like turn around 3 30, 4 30. I'm woke. It's like, all right, now I got to get out of here. I got to find something to do. But so now I, I've been having a regular sleep pattern for like the past three, four days. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that, That's really good to hear. And I haven't been having them digestive problems no more. Like before, like it started getting to the point, I thought, oh, like, man, maybe I'm allergic to sugar now, or maybe I got diabetes, because as soon as I, like a little bit of sugar, like I could take a little sip of some Coca-Cola, I got to run back to the house, use the bathroom. Really? Yeah, cupcake, anything, I ran right back to the house. How'd you know it got better? You just started eating sugar just, again? No, not well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I sit here, it, it don't really hurt as bad anymore. And I, I just drove like 15 hours straight and I set up in an upward position. Usually I gotta like slouch down or oh, yeah, yeah. move or get sideways, but like I drove 15 hours straight. Like I just rode one of my bikes for the first time in seven months. And nice. Woo! <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Nice. nice. I feel good. See, I all like every time I leave, like I feel a little bit better. Like uh, I feel like I can hit a backflip, but I don't want to try it. Then I'm in here, like, yeah, you know, I just broke my neck, so now you're gonna be stuck with <laughs> me for ten more months. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's good, man. You definitely feel better now. Every time I, I can feel the, the progress, like every time. It's good, man. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not going to try to hit a backflip, but I feel like I can't. Yeah, uh, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>